Hi, I'm Chris Forsberg. And I'm Jimmy Caldwell. And this is Race Car Revival, brought to you by eBay Motors. Each episode, we're taking one lucky winner's unfinished project and turning it into the race car of their dreams. Full chassis teardowns, engine swaps, whatever it takes to get that car track ready. That's right, because these cars ain't gonna build themselves. Certainly are not. You know it'd be a sick first test for this thing? I don't know if it's prelim or not. We'll set up the ramp and jump the truck. Is this in gear? Uh, it's in P. Is it in a P? It's in P, dude. When we first saw the truck, it, you know, it looked like it needed some work. It has been sitting in that garage, been getting a little work here and there, late at night, on the weekends. An 18 year long project that had just never really made it to the finish line. Now he didn't exactly tell me how to start it, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Oh wait, hang on. Well, hang on. <laughs> Pedal is, it's a carburetor, you gotta give it some. Drink Either it. shut it off or get moving, cause there's a lot of stuff dripping out of this machine. Really? Oh yeah. I'm pretty oh, sure it's fuel. Come on, baby. Do you even know how the carburetor floors burn? No. Square up. Hurry up, this thing stinks. Wait, quit doing that. That's up. You're killing everything, <laughs> including me. So now that we are in a place that we can actually breathe. I'm and feeling something still. <laughs> what are we doing to this thing? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna coin this particular build the Danger Ranger. It is in danger. It's, it's more than I thought. The more we looked at it, the more I think that we need to take this thing all the way down to the frame. The mounts that it has aren't gonna work on the LS, right? So we're no, gonna need something. it's totally different. It's a new mount. Save us a little time so we're not making it ourselves. I'm sure something like that's out there. So the few times that he did actually get to drive it, he says it doesn't stop. He also pointed out, outside of the brakes, that he has a bunch of old hand-me-down short course tires. Sure. So I wanna get some Yokohamas on that thing. Offset of that, you're gonna need to be able to see where you're going. Yeah. I like the KCs because it's gonna go with the vibe of the truck, right? It's got that classic big round look, you know? Like he's got the LED bars on it now, Dude. but I wanna see those big rounds. It's like uh, Back to the Future. Come on. <laughs> it obviously is gonna need, you know, some help with the paint. It's got a lot of rust on it, uh, so. Can't wait say, for that. Guess what? Sorry, once again, gonna need you to throw some stuff down. My boys have part. to do all this painting. Come on. <laughs> it's gonna run good. It's gonna perform good. It's gonna look good too. It's gonna adapt. After put some paint on. I'm done. With, I'm not ready for paint. Fans that blow into the helmets, all kind of gear for the GPS and antennas, lights, mirrors. There's just. You don't think there's that many things until you start taking them off and you're like, there's a lot of things. First things first, get the motor out. A lot of the wiring, like the ends were falling off, so making marks and references that this one goes back here because there's a billion wires in it. Big upgrade that we're getting on this truck is a fresh coat of steel of paint because as you can see, it's been sitting around for quite some time and gathering up some surface rust. It's very, like my shoulders don't, I can't get in here. I'm claustrophobic. Not really, but I don't like it. Prepping for the steel it was immense because there's five billion feet of tube in this truck. Should be rattling more. What's this? Oh, case of them, boy. Anybody else want a maraca? One of the main focuses of Steel It is that it has stainless steel in the paint itself. So it creates like a property where you could get a weld started directly over it. So if you're doing a trail fix and you had a welder on your rig and this broke off of there, you could go and like weld it right on top of the stuff. Pretty awesome. So 
So the major upgrade on this truck is certainly gonna be the engine. We are uh, doing a six liter LS engine. We put in all new springs for the high lift, 550 lift cam. So once uh, we get the covers on here and seal it back up, get the manifolds on, ready to drop this thing back in. So Jason is going through the engine, re-prepping some of the components just to be updated, make sure there's no leaks. All the laundry list of typical things you would do on a motor swap. Yeah, in and down. Got it. So this truck is really kicking our butts. It's very custom. We're putting a Chevy motor into a Ford. We are starting to get some items in the mail and things are starting to go together. We're hoping to get this thing fired today. Get the rad placed, uh, probably build a little bit of a shroud, get some mounts in here, uh, all the skid plates back on, and gotta get some lights on this bad boy too. And the lighting on there was a little subpar, so we're able to get them some nice, high-quality, trophy truck-grade KC lights on. Lights work. That's a good thing. Priming. Oh, it does need like an extra prime. Give her a go, dude. Whoa. Epic, bro. It runs, we got a few more things to button up in the front, of course. Get the coolant on there, hook it up, get the belt on, and then we're gonna get the wrap ledgers in here to... Wrap it up. Wrap it up. There's a few things I have to modify on the, on the graphic file to make it all fit and, and lay on properly on the car, but it's gonna be a tight, but we'll, we'll make it work. Chris, check this thing out. Dude, I'm stoked. I love it. It does look, you know, a little similar to before. We didn't do too much to the exterior, of course, because we don't really make, you know, off-road parts. Well. <laughs> But we got this thing running. It's reliable now. That was the most important thing. It's the most important thing that you could possibly want whenever you're out in the middle of the desert running a truck. This thing's been sitting around for quite some time, as a matter of fact. We were able to go through and get some nice new updated pieces, like this KC lights. I the love KC those. light bar is sick. I know, that, that really changed the look of the rig. And then we're able to go through and grab some fresh Yokohamas off the eBay Motors app, which is really easy. We went through a ton of steel. <laughs> whole frame, whole body. You wanna talk about a company that earned their name on the side <laughs> of this rig. Yeah. Inside and out, literally. But where we put a lot of the effort was under this hood. Under the hood, let's pop this thing off, take a peek. There it is. That last motor. It's everything you wanted. It's everything I did want for this one. Mm -hmm. Because it kept it similar to what was going on with it before. It already is a Ford truck with a mm -hmm. Chevrolet engine. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that. Don't get mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about the app when we're able to punch in the year, make, and model of this engine, we're able to find all those accessories, guaranteed fit, to help get this engine up and running. And if they don't fit, you get your money back. It's a full refund policy. With over 122 million parts available, we had everything we needed to get this free back on the road. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Check her out. I, can't, I know. I'm like <laughs> starting to sweat. When Libor and his wife came in, it was epic because you could tell immediately he was just like, oh, I'm stoked. Oh, wow, dude. that was nice amazing. Nice to meet you. Chris is why I like Marisa. You. Nice to see you. Oh again. my God, Chris. Great about I can't oh, nice. believe this. This Look is. Look at it. Because the one thing that you told us that you really wanted was a truck that would start up and run. <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah. Hit it, Chris! Wow. 
After 17 years working on this, days and nights in the garage, very thankful for you guys putting in the hard work. The rest of the team, you know, thank you guys for doing all this hard work and beyond stuff, to be honest. You know, I might not show it on the outside, but I like I can tell. super pumped. I can tell you, know, you appreciate it's, it. It's awesome. it's awesome. I just can't wait to get behind the wheel and, you know, actually get it out. To see Libor come in here, just grinning ear to ear, to think about just the insane amount of hours and nights and weekends that you're putting in over almost two decades. And to come in and just see it, just refresh, brand new, fires up, running, it's a really good feeling. The Ford Ranger Baja build is a beast and we're ready to put it to the test on the track. Now it's time to transform your off-road vehicle into an off-road monster. Bring your off-road build over the finish line by shopping for the parts that you need. From shocks to brakes to body armor and much more, eBay Motors has you covered.